Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the job site here. Today we're doing some baseboards and I'm going to be talking about my favorite tool. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, see all these tools I use in these videos. You know, we've got table saws, blowers, um, suckers, jigsaws, even little jigs like this, contour gauge. This thing's cool. But out of all this stuff that we use to get the job done, the thing that is my favorite is this right here. This is a Starrett miter saw protractor. And this is not an angle finder. It's, you wrap this, what it does is you wrap this around a corner and it tells you exactly what miter to cut. But let's say you got a perfect 90 degree corner, you wrap it around, this thing is gonna read 45. So in this video, I've got some baseboard that I'm gonna wrap around a bullnose corner and I'm gonna use this and show you how I do it. So let's get to it. All right, here's the situation I'm working on today. I got this baseboard already ready to be receive the cope over there. And then I have this bull nose and you can see I already marked that. And there's really two tools that I use to get these outside bull nose corners perfect. And uh, I'll show you that right now. I'll set the camera down right here. And that tool, one of them is gonna be this. You can see those pencil lines I have right here. All I did was I took this tool. This is a bench dog bull nose trim gauge. I throw it on there, hold it firmly. And then I make my marks. And there, it's good to go. And I do the same thing on this side. And once I have that, I take this Starrett Miter Saw Protractor. You can see mine's cut off on one side. I cut that off to get it into tighter places because the arms on these are pretty long and uh, sometimes I need to get it in wrapped around like a short wall. So I cut that one there off. That's what that is. Now, if you'll notice on this tool, it says single cut, use outer scale, and then it used to say on the part I cut off, miter cut, use inner scale. All I gotta do is wrap this around the corner. I'll get you a better view of this. I'll wrap this around the corner until both sides are flat. And then it's going to give me a reading. And it's reading 46 degrees. Now if this was a 90 degree corner, I could just take that reading and cut two 46 degree miners and I would be dead on. I'm telling you, this tool is amazing. It's just so accurate. And now, but now that I have this bullnose transition piece, I actually need to divide that 46 in half because I'm gonna have four cuts total here. One, two, three, four. And that's gonna give me 23. So instead of doing your typical 22.5s on these outside corners, we're gonna go 23. All right, so I just came back from the stall and one thing I'll mention for the process of this is that when you're working with little areas like this, what's usually better is if you can bring the pieces in long, push them into position and then line that mark up and then just cut it. Now what I'm seeing here is another issue, but uh, you see how that base is tight at the bottom? and at the top it's open. So we're gonna use this tool again and I'll show you how. And we're not gonna use the, the uh, miter part of the tool, we're gonna use the part that says single cut. So I'll take this off. Then I'm gonna put this tool in position, flat against the floor, push it up against this shower tub, whatever it is. And then this time we're gonna use the outer scale on the tool and let's see what we got. So this one is at two degrees. All right, so I just came back from the saw, cut this at two degrees, and the thing just fits perfectly up against that tub now. So now that I have that in position, I'll transfer that line right there, cut this at 23 degrees. I already have my bull noses cut at 23 degrees. So now that I got that left side ready and marked, I just gotta do the same thing to the middle, hold the piece up, mark it in position, 
And then again, even with this longer piece, I've got it coped on that end over there. I'm gonna push that in and hold it up in position here. So we'll see, let's go in there. And you can see that's tied up against there. And now I can come over here and pencil line transfer this. But you do want to make sure that if you're doing this method, that if you're going to do it like this, you got to like really push this in because you don't want it to be like off and then you pencil line it. So really like, I mean, you've got plenty of leftover over there. So just, I mean, just push it in and the tighter it is, the better anyways. So what I'll do since I'm holding the camera, it makes it a little difficult. I'll keep that pushed with my knee right here and then we'll transfer this line right there. Done. Cut this stuff up, put it in the oven. It's going to come out really good. All right, everything is cut and just like woodworking, right? You're going to dry fit everything before you glue it. And again, one handed, this is a little, little tricky. So I think once we glue this up, it's kind of just roughly in place. Uh, it's going to be perfect. So, yeah, we're good. Time to glue it. All right, I'm gonna show you an up close of me sliding this in. And just notice how tight it is when I push it on there. It like fits like a glove. And really I give credit to this tool. The rest of it is just measuring and cutting. So here we go. I mean, it just fits like a glove. The outside corners are good. Outside corners are good, let's check. Our side over here where we did that two degree fix. I can get it tight in there and uh, put some nails in it. It'll be really tight against that tub. And we'll check down here where our cope was. It's looking really good. And we really just finesse it into place now. One thing I like to do, um, I bought this flooring nailer from Bostitch. It came with this, um, flooring hammer I guess <laughs> I don't know what it is but uh, I like to hit these things and kind of finesse them in place and then kind of hit those copes in place too because sometimes they're a little tight and it's good to just see them push in but really that's all you need get some nails in it you'll be super good so yeah that's it right there there you have it that's the star at miter saw protractor my favorite tool to use on the job for making miters and doing this finished carpentry stuff. Just turns it into a complete no-brainer. Tells you what miter to cut and it's one of the greatest tools ever invented by mankind at any time in any place in the entire existence of humans upon the face of the earth. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care.